Hello there, this is Sean Greasy and welcome to volume 23 of our Visual Basic Tutorials. In this tutorial I will be briefly dis discussing subforms within Visual Basic. Subforms are where you have more than one form. You may have used programs such as MSN Messenger where you have lots of chat windows and you'll notice that the main interface is one window and other th things like Visual Basic for example is a form here, form here form here, form here, and you've got the main one. So you can see five forms at the moment, and you've got one here obviously, which is the six. So in this program we're going to create another form. In order to do this, to add the form like so, normal form, press open, it adds a second form. You can toggle between the two like so, you can redesign it if you like so as well. Right. Now you can rename your form. Common code is FRM. Then you can say form 2. Something like that. FRM form 2. Refer to our first one. FRM form 1. Okay. Now in order to open our second form from our first one, we do this like so. FRM form two dot show. When we click this, we can see our second form here. Okay. You may be wondering how we actually get rid of the second form. For example, if we disable the control box so the user can't cross the form off. What we do now is add a button on the form two and say form dot hide and there we go so what we're doing now is hiding the second form upon clicking that button like so so show and hide are the controls to use when you want to show and hide the second form now here is a tip for you when hiding the second form and you finally close your program off what Visual Basic does it's a really poor design but when you hide your second form and cross your program off you still notice that the play button is pressed that's because the second form hasn't closed it's actually hidden as you can see so it's not here at all but it's in the background in order to get round this when you press exit type in end this ends the whole program that means it will kill hidden forms and everything so when we hide the second form and press exit as you can see the program is fully ended if not you'll see that this program is in in your task manager in control alt and delete and every time you open it and hide a form you get one more entry in your task manager which we don't really want so that's how to toggle between forms now you may want to know how to use components on other forms how can you rename this button from form 1 well let's have a look let's go into form 2 okay instead of hiding this form we're going to rename the button on form 1 so to refer to other forms you type the form name in first you then type the component which I think it's is it CMD test yes there we go dot caption equals hello so when referring to other forms objects you type in the form first then the component then the property and set it to a value so let's have a look here you should rename this button to hello and there you go. So this has been a tutorial on the uses of subforms within Visual Basic. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed the tutorial and the other tutorials on the website. Goodbye.